We up at the Mighty Men's Conference over here. All these mighty men of God, my brother Dirk right there. Praise the Lord. The encampment of the saints. Jesus loves you, Canada. So there's darkness in the land, and it's men that need to stand up, men of God, for what is right. Yeah. The encampment of the saints. Who's that man of God? Who's that man of God right here? Come in here. Give me some of that love over here. My brother Dirk. Amen. All day. What's up? It's called the Great Love Medley in the books. What's that? It's called the Great Love Medley in the books. It's called the Great Love Medley in the books. That's a nice name. I haven't seen one million people in the flesh. <laughs> Have you? No. Well, I it's want to short second the story. See, God honors faith. Not effort, not good works, not qualifications. Raw faith like Bartimaeus had. In six weeks, we saw with our eyes, I've got witnesses here, between 1.2 and 1.4 million people Coming to Bloemfontein, 450,000 motor cars, parked, buses, a train, Istimel, as we say in South Africa, a train coming from Cape Town. Everybody seated on the grass, and we had a prayer meeting. Straight after that prayer meeting, the government was changed. President oh, was out. Man. Corruption exposed. What's that? The nuclear power station shelled as unconstitutional. Amen. The rand valued. When we, we've just been trashed, they were singing hymns and praying in parliament. Come on, man, give them all. Hallelujah! The effect of fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And when over one million pray, I'll tell you what, all oh, heaven breaks loose. Mm -hmm. That was the first one. And the second one was in, in, in Cape Town, straight after that. No rain. The place was dry. The people were panicking. They were going to the supermarkets and buying water because they thought they were going to die of thirst. And it's not a joke. The only city in the whole world with no water. We went there with the poorest of the poor on the sand dunes. About 200, some say 260, some say 300,000 people came on the sand dunes in the most dangerous place on the continent of Africa. Up to nine men a day being murdered in the Western province with guns. Drugs, alcohol, prostitution, rife. We went to those sand dunes and we held a prayer meeting. And God visited us and it started raining. It's raining by the way. Love it. Started raining. The people went ballistic. And I'm going to tell you a sad story. There were some churches in that, that city, affluent, who boycotted that meeting. What? Because they said, Buck and said, and I didn't say it, the newspapers twisted it. Buck and said, God is angry with Cape Town. I never said that. I said, God is not happy with Cape Town. <laughs> because who, who opens the tap? Who, the devil? Does he bring rain? No. And who closes the tap? Does the devil come and close? No. no. And it started to rain. And then, boys, God just opened up. The people started wailing. And then I did something I've never done in my life before, and I'll probably never do it again because I wasn't told to do it again. In that crowd of people, I said, God is saying that the gang leaders must come forward. The gang leaders, not the gangsters, and nothing happened. I saw 260 to 300,000 people just sitting there, and I waited. And then one gang leader came up on his own. He blew his cover. These are serious gangs, my boy. These guys use guns for a living. And then another one. And then another one. And then another one, 12 gang leaders came to the front. Yes. Can you give a lot of big clap, yes. please? Hallelujah! A they blew their cover. Faith. 
The women were weeping because their children had come forward. And I'm sensing in my spirit there's a need here tonight. 